Wrong thing. Um, hide. Oh. Stone that can relieve uh, numbness when rubbed. Making a prize by those who have to maintain the same posture for extended periods during work. That might be good for our guy. He can't feel pain after all. <laughs> Anyways. Where are we at? Okay, people, this is it. Ools are back. No sign of any Renin guardsmen. The Renins aren't as populous as the Danans. Probably figure stationing guards in a place like this would be a waste of precious manpower. So this is where the next safe house is? Yes. The last place they'd think to look for enemies is on their own doorstep. That is, assuming anyone actually made it here before us. Zephyr! Hey! Looks like we needn't have worried. Come on. I think that was Nate? No, so you know, so you're the new recruit and Zephyr brought, eh? I wouldn't call myself a uh, recruit, really. Oh, really? Well, we've all heard plenty about you, so if you ever just uh, decide to join up with us, you'll definitely be more than welcome. Anything else you want to know? But what is this place? This is Ulzbek. It's, uh, it's a Dan and Enclave like plenty of others in this realm. Unlike most gold, which is mainly a mining area, this place mostly produces food and other daily essentials. Uh, the bright eyes rarely show their faces here, which is why we've made it out, uh, made it our headquarters. Anything else you want to know? Our friends, oh god, what was the question? Our friends made it back uh, from the Zeon mine. Unfortunately, not everyone made it out of there. Uh, oh, what's the situation? Am I really that famous? Why are you so surprised? Of course you're famous, tough guy. Hard, hard for people not to notice you wearing that mask of yours. And as if that's not enough, you're always going on about the how <coughs> out of your way to help people and make life less miserable. It's no wonder people talk about you. With that kind of reputation, I'd say you definitely belong in the, with the Crimson Crows. <laughs> Just don't let word get out that I am with the Crimson Crows or else it's going to get real awkward. No, I think I'm good. All right, get you around. It's gonna be a lot of people to talk to. What's this doing here? We just jumped in the people's drinking water. Whoops. <laughs> Hope it doesn't taste like feet. Now I can work very next as the bright eyes can't afford to just kill their workers, maybe change their mind. Looks like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads. Indeed. I don't have anything to tell you all. 
But you're more than welcome to take a look to see what we got. Have to sell all. I have zero gold, so what am I doing? <laughs> Come back. <laughs> I have no money. I need to get money. I need more money. More money is required. Yes, more money. I need more money. More money required. Okay, so we can like I think we can just leave leave as is. There's a the garrison of armed soldiers up ahead. Oh, okay, we're not gonna go out there just yet. Can we get up there? Excuse me, young man, we need to have a word. Is that really how it sounds to bang on a wall? Sounds like he's banging two sticks together. Well, anyways. Glad you're okay, quick. Quick, get inside. Our rations, we managed to swipe back. Okay. I don't talk about rations. Ugh. Loot. Loot. Nope, no loot. Okay, carry on. Zephyr, you made it! See? I told you there's no way Zephyr would have kicked the bucket. Fine, you were right. So, what's the plan? God, doubter. Well, we've got an ace up our sleeve and the enemy's in disarray. I say we strike while the iron's hot. So we're finally going head to head with Balsef. That's right. We can't afford to mess this up. It's now or never. Then now it is! We've all been waiting for this day for far too long. Leave the plan to me. In the meantime, yeah, you two need to do something about your outfits. <laughs> yeah. I have ah. just the thing for your size. Stay right there, okay? I told you, it fits like a dream. All right, great, thank you. I'm now, what about our girl? Here? Renin clothing. I could find you some Danon outfits. But something tells me you'd rather pass. Is this really that important? In case you need reminding, I'm here because our interests overlapped, nothing more. At no point did I say I've given up being a Renan. Now, now, let's play nice. How about you ask Nate and see what he says? He's our one-stop shop for info around here. With any luck, he might just know something. That's from Blue Card. Haha. <laughs> Zephyr left your... Oh. But I like Zephyr. Hey, not only new here, you don't remember much at all, right? Well, if you got any questions, lay them out. What's your group's goal? Ideally, we'd like to drive out the Renans, but as I'm sure you know, they got us more than a little outgun. Now, we're mostly waiting for a chance to strike as we sabotage what we can, gather intel, and help other slaves get along the way. <clears throat> Although, apparently, our big chance is right around the corner. If Zephyr and the rest, uh, the rest are to be believed, Anything else you want to ask about? <clears throat> How do the Renans fight? Uh, the Bright Eyes wear those huge armor suits and fight using astral arts and... Sicking? That's supposed to be sicking? 
sicking their zoogles on people. You're dead meat if you try to take them head on, so we have to fight using greater numbers and by taking advantage of the terrain. Most of us aren't like Zephyr. We can't take them alone one on one, on one like him, unfortunately. That's why we're so glad to have you two on board with us. We could use all the help we can get. Anything else you want to ask about? What are you guys doing in the uh, Olzebek? Olzebek is one of the island class where Tannin slaves live. It's mostly responsible for producing food. The Bright Eyes don't have any outposts here and hardly come through on patrol, which is what made us decide... Ah, all right. Uh, to set up shop here. In exchange for agreeing to keep quiet about our whole presence, we give out supplies to the residents and help them with their needs. That really shouldn't be a... Like a negotiation. It's like, okay, we're going to help you guys get your food. Anyways, also, it doesn't hurt that nobody's a fan of the right eyes either, though. Anything else you want to ask about? Yes. Uh, what can you tell me about the Renans? The, uh, the, the big planet of the sky is their home world. Rena, while... And while the smaller object in his Lenigus, their stronghold and where do the bright eyes come from? Oh, and about the name. We call them bright eyes because their eyes light up whenever they use astral arts. Pretty simple, right? Likewise, they love to call us em embedded. Since we're all embedded with the spirit core as soon as we're born. Really? But when someone joins the Crimson Crows, they dig theirs out. It's our way of showing we're not slaves to anybody any longer. I wonder then. Now, that little bit of information got me thinking. Was the this was some of the technology that the Renans are using right now current use of uh, formerly Ganon technology? Huh. I wonder about that. Anyways. <clears throat> uh, the big shot uh, the big shot Renans in charge, the uh, the lords, they wear they were different they wear different outfits from the rest. They're made of weird fabric and stick out like a sore thumb. I mean, what are Zoogles? Uh, Zoogles are the monsters that you often see tagging along with bright eyes. I couldn't tell you how many different kinds there are, but I do know that uh, they're all nasty and real dangerous. There are also feral ones you'll find wandering around outside. Most of those escaped from their keepers. We call those strays. Anything? Um, what are ash lords? So the bright eyes <clears throat> refer to the powers that they use. They're basically like a kind of magic. Danans can't use actual arts for themselves. Which makes Renans as much of a pain to deal with as their Zoogle pets. Um, yeah. No good. Uh, I'm ask. <clears throat> well, Sophia says they're good. That's yeah, still talking to the others. You'll find them outside. Okay. The other members are going on to the side, so uh, to devise our plan of attack. I have, to, um, I have to let them know that I intend to make you guys the centerpiece of the whole operation. Must be something. Okay. Nath, we need your help. Ah, oh, damn. Never the manpower when you... Huh? Help, huh? What kind? Is it urgent? Well, no, not exactly. Well, in that case, would you mind helping me out with something first? The work's really piled up around here. What is it you'd like us to do? Anything you can manage. No one cares about us slaves. That's why it's all the more important that we stick together and take care of each other. Check in with that guy over there for details on what needs doing. And thanks in advance. You see anybody around here who could use our help? We can't chase after every little thing. Like water and oil, huh? 
<sighs> Try to be careful not to stand out too much. You're the only Renan around here, you know. I know. There's the guy I was with just a dying mask. About how communal it feels here, even though it's only supposed to be slave quarters. Huh? Oh, yeah. When you put it like that, I guess it is different from heavily patrolled Mosgul. Were you expecting something more depressing? It's likely a sign that Balsef doesn't think you guys can do anything to him. What? I mean, if Balsef thought the Crimson Crows actually posed a threat to him, you'd figure he'd be trying harder to suppress them. You... Uh, uh, no. You're probably right about that. All of the other Danans that aren't with the Crimson Crows accept the Renan's rule as simply a fact of life. From the day we're born, no, probably even before that, it's been drilled into us that the only purpose our lives have is to help select the next sovereign. If they don't like the status quo, then they should fight it. Otherwise, they're endorsing it either way. I see it differently, but that's just me. Speaking of Renans, do all of them think about things the way you do? I won't deny that among my fellow Renans, power and status are everything. However, that isn't what this is about for me. I have something I need to do, and I'll do whatever it takes and use whoever and whatever I need in order to get the job done. To hell with power. Okay. Hey. Nate. Oh, come on, the voice acting. Eh, whatever. Nate sent us. Mm, you heard you might be able to be a little short handed. Yes. <laughs> you could say that to the thing he'd send over under the iron mask himself, though. Now that a bright eyes with you, are you sure we can really trust her? <sighs> He's on our side. Zephyr can vouch for hmm. her. Zephyr's good with her. Then I guess we don't have a problem. Hey, what the hell? The name's Dir. Oh. Ah, the name's Dirian. I'm the one who runs this lodge. Hmm? This is a lodge, but we already have our own beds. <laughs> we don't sleep on straw and rock, uh, rock hard dirt around here. The Crimson Crows have their fair share of folks who either knock on death's door or can't otherwise move around openly. That's what this place is here for, to give people a place to rest up properly before they head off to fight. Everybody knows their rest. Everybody needs their rest. If you don't rest, you can't hope to fight the bright eyes at your rest. Makes sense. What do you want us to do then? I need your help. I need you to help haul in some cargo. I have some friends who are on the way to collect it from our hideout in the Xeon mine. The mines? Is that really such a good idea after the Renan Sutton snuff the place out? These are valuable items people risk their lives together. We need to get at least some of them back. Understandable. Uh, they should be down around the sand, uh, sandedness free mine at this point. Meet up with them and help bring the supplies back to this lodge. Got it. You're welcome to use this facility if you need it to as well. I'll let you sleep here for free. <gasps> How kind. Subquest. Uh, uh, talking to someone, uh, someone with a letter icon will start a subquest. Clearing these subquests will earn you rewards and you can... Accept as many of them as you like. You can also check each of their objectives from the activity records. Okay. I had no idea the Crimson Crows were so active. You sound pretty thrilled by that. Thrilled? Maybe. But I'll settle for hopeful. We know now that not everyone is rolling over for the Renans. Okay. Any more envelopes? No? Okay. Oh! Well, that's neat. Let's rest, though. So I recall correctly, 
We won't need to. I don't think we really Looks need like we to get worry to about. Sleep with a roof over our heads. Yeah, like. Uh, yes, please. Yeah, that that little ring reminds me so much of Shining Resonance Refrain. Don't work too hard on it. Gotcha. Won't try to, but we'll do what we can. And the frames. Okay, we're back. This is the right way? Yeah, this is the right way. That reset all of them? It does. Okay, there isn't a quick save. Great. Okay. Good to know that they. Uh, yeah, it's good to know that uh, monsters respawn. A lot of them respawn. An opponent like this should be easy. Blue escape. Rising wyvern. Mirage. Here I come. You're finished. Swallow blade. Rising wyvern. You're mine! It's over! Mm -hmm. you do, you do. Help. Help. Rising has taken too much time. Here, let me help. First aid! You're mine! It's Fight. over! I'm only Fly. getting started! Swallow it can't blade. be happening! You pay for that! Time to test. Will she? Oops. Try harder. Take this. Rising wyvern. I'm not done. Mirage. Here I come. Take it. Swallow blade. Boom. Will she? See him. You okay? It's nothing. Don't be so dramatic. Oh, yay. So she actually doesn't gain anything. Good to know. That's actually good to know. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're not messing with them. Now, ah, might as well just do what we do. What I did in uh, Shining Residence. This might, this fight might be a little bit tougher because there's three of them. Now, there's only two of us. Oh god, Arthur. heal me, heal. Okay. Thank you. Take this. 
doing all right we won't be fighting more than two at a time at this point onward <laughs> not unless we get a third party member oh that hurt oh, yeah that's right we could also switch characters for this kind of stuff though There's no real fall damage. <laughs> That's really good to know. Unless there's, unless there actually is, and I'm not seeing it. Cause yeah, we would have. Pretty sure I would have felt that. What? They're all dead? How did this happen? Soldiers, that's how. Are you... Iron Mask? <laughs> yeah, I am. Dyron sent me to help. Oh, Hang Dyron, in there. Oh, dear, Dyron. I'm so glad you made it. In the bushes over there, you'll... Hang on. Sion, do something! It's no use. He's already dead. <clears throat> Damn them! They've killed so many of us, and it's still not enough! They won't be satisfied until they've wiped us all out like pests! He mentioned something about those bushes. We should check them. Is this a cooking pot? But what is it doing here? If I had to guess, he put it there to make sure a Renan wouldn't steal it. <sighs> so even though he knew he was dying, he chose to use the last of his strength to hide it, believing somebody <sighs> would come for it. I guess a you think it's pot? stupid getting killed over a silly trinket, huh? No. Clearly he risked his life for something he believed in. I would never mock someone for that. However, it will be up to us to figure out the purpose behind his dying act. We'll make sure it wasn't in vain. If nothing else, this proves that the Renans can be outsmarted. Our damn we'll carry cooking out your pot! Will and see it through to the end. Then we'd better get going. We don't know when those soldiers might be back to make another sweep of the area. What a weird way to introduce cooking. So this is what it means to fight the Renners. Sounds like you're kind of scared to me. Of course I am. But if I'm gonna die one way or another, I'd rather go down fighting. I hate camping out. A weird that was a weird way to introduce cooking oh we used up 70 CP Might as well rest. Oh, 
Might as well. Hurry up and go to sleep. I can think for myself, you know. Yeah, but the last thing I need is you dragging me down because you're too tired. I'll keep that in mind. A little rude, but at the same time, understanding. I swear you can't walk five steps without tripping on a zoogle. This is getting old. Yeah, but wasn't it you Renans who brought the zoogles here from Rena in the first place? They're not just ordinary animals from Rena. Each of them has been modified to suit a particular purpose. In fact, some zoogles were originally derived from the animals on Dana, or so I've heard. What? Huh. You Renans couldn't stop at just the people of this planet? You had to screw with our nature too? You can get angry all you want, but we have bigger fish to fry. So, are you going to work with me or not? <laughs> I will. It's in both of our own interests. Huh. Uh, okay. That was... I think it's time we go to sleep. Ah, that makes me want to play. Come on, guys. We've got lots to do. Makes me want to play Re Shining Resonance again. <laughs> 